Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a step sharp for fatigue failure analysis. We will start with static structural. We will first go to engineering data. We are choosing structural steel as the material. I will go to interpolation. We will change log log to semi log. And here as we have already discussed in previous videos that the value of alternating stress can be seen in megapascal. It is 86.2 megapascal and the number of cycles for which loading can be done on an object is 1 into 10 raised to 6 cycles. We will go to project, update project. Next I will go to geometry, new design modular geometry. Units, I'll choose millimeter, xy plane, look at. I'll go to sketching and draw a step sharp. We'll first draw a circle and give it some dimension. Say it is 30 mm. I'll extrude it to say 150 mm. Generate. Now on this face, I'll create a new plane. Generate. Look at. I'll go to sketching. I'll choose circle. I'll give it some dimension. Say this 20. Extrude. Apply. Now instead of add material, I'll go for add frozen. The depth I'll choose as 100. Generate. So this is a step shaft for which we are going to analyze. Next I'll go to model and double click on it. We will first align the body, then we will go to geometry, you can see solid 1 is structural steel and so is the solid 2. If you want you can change this material to some other one. I will go to mesh, sizing, I will change relevant center to fine, update. Now I'll go to static structural and insert pick support on one face. On this face, I will insert moment. I'll change vector to component. This is along the z-axis. So I'll give some value, say 1 lakh. This is in the anti-clockwise direction. On this face here, I will also apply a moment. I will change vector to component. Along the z-axis, say I will apply minus 2 lakh. That's for the change of direction. I will go to solution and insert deformation total. Stress tool, maximum shear stress. I want to get the equivalent stress. And for fatigue tool, I'm going to apply fully reverse type of loading. Mean stress theory, I'm choosing as Soderbergh theory this time. I'll go to fatigue tool and insert life. 
safety factor. I'll go to solution, solve. You can animate and see the total deformation over the body. We'll go to stress tool and check the safety factor. It is 1.3307, which means my body is safe. And this is the equivalent stress over the body. It is 162.75. It is more than the yield strength value of structural steel, which means it is going to fail, but after working for a set number of cycles. So we'll go to fatigue tool and we'll check the life. Here you can see that the minimum number of cycles that it is going to work for is 59,204 and maximum value is given as 1 into 10 to 6. So somewhere in between these two your object is going to fail. And we will check the factor of safety. You can see that this portion is safe but you will definitely have a failure because factor of safety is only 0.5. For the design life part, you can see the value is 1 into 10 to 9 for this object, step sharp. But you are only going to use it for 59,000 number of cycles. So that's how you analyze for a step shaft and you can directly design it before using. So you don't have to go for a destructive type of testing by making a prototype. You can use this technique for analyzing and finally when you get a desired result or you can design the maximum load it can take or the maximum moment it can endure only then you can go for its designing. I hope you have understood the process of analyzing a fatigue failure problem for a step shaft. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for latest updates of my videos. See you in the next session. Thank you.